A few months ago, I made a game in PowerPoint, but it wasn't very good. It's me, Mario! So today, I want to push PowerPoint to its real limit by trying to create a working version of Minecraft with full player controls, mining, and building, all powered by a 30-year-old software that can barely handle a pie chart. This was a terrible idea and one of the most painful things I've ever done on this channel. So enjoy the video and consider subscribing if you like it. So this is our new game project. And by game project, I mean it's a PowerPoint slide. We have a long way to go. So to recreate Minecraft, the first thing on our list is going to be the player. And the player needs to move. That's kind of how Minecraft works. You, you can move. Before we make a moving player, we need a player. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up Steve Minecraft. Okay, this... This is perfect. We are off to an amazing start. And there we go, guys. It looks just like Steve from Minecraft. For the, for the most part. All right, let's drag in our player. And there we go. We have Steve in our game, but you might notice if I try and run it, nothing happens. Why? Because it's a PowerPoint presentation. Obviously nothing is going to happen. So, how do we turn this into a game? Let's just say I did a little bit of mining off camera. Macros are basically code that you can trigger to run in your presentation. You have methods and you can trigger methods to run upon clicking different buttons in your PowerPoint presentation. For example, I could have a little shape in my presentation called move right. And if I click move right, I can set it to run this macro. So then when you click the move right button, this code will run, which moves the player to the right. So I think this will be a bit more clear if I just show you how this is going to work. So I'm gonna move Steve up here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to insert a new shape into my presentation, an arrow. So this will be our move right button, like a little on-screen button that lets you move the player right when you click on it. So then what I do in PowerPoint is I go to insert action. And then here in the action settings, you can say when the button is clicked, you can run a macro. We can just say move right. And now when I run the presentation and click this right arrow button, our character should move to the right. So I'm going to run the presentation and guys, I know what the problem is. It's, um... Um, I just thought about it for a second and the problem was, oh, ig ignore that, ignore that. Um, I just thought about it for a second and the problem is that, um, so I was using active sheet, but you're supposed to use active presentation dot slides. I just had to think about it for a second. So I'm going to, um, oh shoot, I'm going to, um, okay. I don't know why chat GPT is open. That's, that's kind of weird. And there we go. Yes. <laughs> this game is coming along, guys. This game is coming along. When you press right, our character moves to the right. We have a long, long way to go. Now that our player moves to the right, what we can do is make our player also move to the left. No way, dude. You can move right, and you can move left. Hey guys, we're basically done. This is basically Minecraft right in front of us. All we need now is a little system that lets you place blocks on a grid, mine blocks on a grid, store block type, but that's the easy part, guys. So from there, what I'm gonna do is generate a grid of blocks and add the ability to mine blocks and place blocks. Somehow. But first, what I'm gonna do is get a Minecraft dirt block. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Um, I think you guys know what we have to do. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is add our dirt blocks into our Minecraft world. You drag in your dirt block, you shrink it down, and you just copy, paste, paste, Paste. 
paste, 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 and paste. And there we go. Our Minecraft world is coming together. So now that we have the dirt blocks in our Minecraft world, we need to add the ability to mine them. When I click this block right in the center on the top, it should get destroyed. All right, let's see what happens. Three, two, one. I hate my life. Oh, I think it's because I keep doing active sheet instead of active presentation. It should work now, in theory. Let's let's see, let's see what happens. Let me just think about it for a second again. Wait, I'm confused. Is this all you need? Is this not the same as the code that I wrote though? Oh! Wait, no, I'm sorry. Oh, it's making it seem like you have to have a method for each individual block, which would not be good. Bro, please, please, bro. Please. I just can't get a reference to the specific object that I'm clicking. This is, this is gonna be really stupid. But it, it, it'll work. It'll work. <laughs> yes! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Guys, you can mine it, you can place it, you can mine it, you can place it, you can mine it, you can place it, you can mine it, you can place it. <laughs> that only took an hour. And now the fun part is I'm going to duplicate this block across the entire PowerPoint presentation. And because for some reason you can't store a reference to an object that calls a macro in PowerPoint. I'm just gonna duplicate my code like a million times. So let's see if that works. This is a terrible idea. We did it, okay. Now you might be wondering why do I have to rename every single block? And that's because I need to recreate this method for every single block in the game. Now, what we have to do is manually assign each block to its corresponding function. So what I'm gonna do is insert, action, delete block, two, delete block, where's two? Wait. Finally, 105. Yeah. <laughs> if this doesn't work, I think I might break down and die. So you can mine blocks now, isn't that crazy? You can mine blocks and then you can place blocks. It's beautiful, it's so beautiful. I feel like I'm playing Minecraft right now, this is crazy. You can like dig a hole, go mining. He kind of flies, but like, you know. I don't know if gravity's in the budget for a PowerPoint presentation. So now that you can mine and place blocks, I want to add a little inventory at the bottom where you can choose what kind of block you want to place. This should be relatively easy compared to everything that we just had to code. Basically what I'm going to do is if you click one of these elements, like stone, grass, wood, I don't know, and if you click one of them, I just set a string to the file path of that block and that will be the block uh that gets placed instead of sprite one it, it makes it makes a lot of sense guys but before we get into that i think we need to polish up our slide a bit it's looking a little bit boring we need a skybox um that, that's what it we just need a skybox yo this is so sick we're actually <laughs> i feel like this is coming together quite nicely you can mine can build this is sweet I'm gonna make a background for down here like a little Minecraft inventory thing maybe so now that our hotbar looks a lot nicer let's figure out what block types we actually want to add to it Minecraft block types all right all right so here are the block types that I think we need this is like 
the most essential ones. So you have your grass block, which we already have. Stone's a good one. Wooden plank is a good one. Cobblestone, obviously. Wood, brick. Sure. Oh, glass Glass is so smart. That's actually so smart. So we need to get the sprites of the blocks for the hop bar. And we can use those same sprites for the game ones, I guess. All right, and there we go. We have found and exported all of the block textures that we need. But I think we're missing one final texture that is very important. It just would not be Minecraft without this block right here. Now we can add these into our taskbar and duplicate a lot of methods to make this work. So what I'm actually going to do is create a method that takes in a string and then each macro thing calls it with custom strings and that just sets the this global string of like active block to like be true. It make it makes sense, guys. It makes sense. Brick glass and among us all of the important Minecraft blocks right here. These are the only blocks that matter in Minecraft. Now what I want to do is go back into my macros and... <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> there we go. And then I'm gonna make a new, a new method. Select block type path as string. And then you just do like, this is the cringy part you do like, two three four five six seven eight and now okay now if i go here i can assign each method to each block under the action now for the moment of truth let's see if our minecraft recreation in powerpoint actually works so i'm gonna run this by default it should place grass Guys, 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 guys. Yay. <laughs> Yay. What did I do that would cause it to break? We're so close. Uh... Oh! I never ended the if statement. If this works, I am going to be so, so happy. Please, please, please tell me that's it. Please tell me it's just that. So you can mine blocks. Mine the blocks. All right. You can walk around. You can delete it, place it, delete it, change it to cobblestone. Oh, <gasps> yes. Change it to stone, change it to wood, change it to planks, change it to brick, change it to glass, change it to among us. We did it! There we go, guys. We have recreated Minecraft in Microsoft PowerPoint. I mean, okay, it's, it's, it's a little bit watered down technically, but like, we made Minecraft in PowerPoint and it works. Guys, I'm probably the best Minecraft PowerPoint builder, dude. This is insane. I mean, probably because I'm the only Minecraft PowerPoint builder, but... Um. You know what? I know exactly what the world's first build in Minecraft PowerPoint needs to be. It's absolutely beautiful.